Good morning, guys. Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. How are y'all doing? Welcome to morning prayer. Oof, I'm tired. Oof. I came under spiritual attack last night. I didn't sleep much. Had a ton of dreams. All bad ones. And uh, luckily, I, don't, I can't remember my dreams anymore because of the t traumatic brain injury. Uh, I just got flashes. But um, I kept going, kept having the dream and then waking up. Close my eyes, go to sleep, have a dream, wake up. At one point during the evening, uh, at the middle of the night, I rolled over to adjust my pillow. And my wife was laying there looking at me. And I said, is everything all right? She goes, I don't know. Is everything all right with you? I said, what do you mean? She said, every time you fall asleep, a few minutes later, you wake up. You've been doing that over and over and over again. I had a lot of bad dreams last night. It was a, it was a spiritual attack because of the video I did yesterday about the spirit of error and the spirit of fear. And then um, the evening prayer coming against all that stuff and strengthening the, the body. Uh, they don't like it when we stand up and contend for the truth. and Because it circumvents and destroys what they're trying to do. It stops them from getting a hold of other people and messing with other people. So they attack us to try to bring us down. We're children of God. They can't hurt us. Have a bad dream, move on. You know, it just, they can't hurt us. They can't do anything to us that will cause us any harm other than a little discomfort because of dreams or whatever. So let me put that in airplane mode. So, I'm now more emboldened because of that attack, because I know I hit a nerve, because I know that I hit them right in the face with the truth and with God's word. And I see a bunch of people now over the last, I don't know, 10 hours, 12 hours, putting up videos about standing and contending, about the Jezebel spirit that's running through everything. I mean, we're all putting up videos about this stuff. It's good because the truth and the awareness is getting out there and that's what has to happen. <clears throat> and so at the same time that we're speaking against those things and warning, we need to be praying the body up and building up the body. <coughs> Excuse me. And get everybody strengthened and bold and and ready to go and fired up to fight against this. Because if you're sitting there complacent, you can't fight against this. And it catches you unaware, you don't even realize it. Because everything looks normal. She's really good at what she does. She's very slick. Uses a lot of emotions that make people feel bad about the situation. And guilt them into getting involved. No, we're not going to do that. This is why we have to be so forward and truthful. And even if it means being rude. Delivering the truth. Not, not patting it or watering it down. To make people happy because when you do that that's what jezebel wants she slips right in there and she'll get you and she'll get everybody that's listening to you and we've got to stand strong and you know what it won't always sound like love it won't always sound like um peace and blessing and, and humility but that's okay it's not meant to when did jesus ever chase after anybody never hey you follow me <clears throat> you either followed him or you didn't he didn't wait for you. When did God ever wait on anybody? Here, I'm going to give you this task. If you don't do it, I'm going to get someone else. You either do it or you don't do it. The, the, the problem comes in whenever you have lukewarm Christians. Christians who get caught up in all these other things and don't stay on fire for Christ. They get led into a bunch of other stuff. And it never ends well. And that's part of the goal of our ministries is to get those people out of that and get them back over here in the fire. Get them fired up and get them in the truth and get them stirred up. And I think probably as many as we as we bring to the truth, we lose it the same amount. And it is what it is. You can see on the screen we're going to pray some different scriptures about spiritual warfare. Um, the first statement there, prayer plus God's word equals power. And that is the truth. That's why, excuse me. <clears throat> That's why I pray scripture, especially in the morning, to start the day. And we end the day doing the same thing. Because one of the things that 
they used to do is they used to sing psalms and pray scripture and read scripture to each other back in the, in the old days. We need to start doing that now because how many of y'all have been affected by these prayers? It's been a good thing for the body and prayers have been answered. A lot of prayers have been answered. Some of them very, very vibrantly answered. And that's why we do this stuff here. That's why I, I guess I was led to do this because this has been such a blessing I don't start or end my day until I've done morning and evening prayer. And a lot of you guys have confessed to me that, that you don't start your day or end your day unless it's morning and evening prayer. And I got a lot of good responses from that prayer last night. And I, I was hoping so because I, I wanted to edify everybody, especially the people who have a YouTube ministry. This is not easy. It's not glamorous. It's not nothing. It's, it's hard. But we were called to do it for a reason. God saw something in us. Christ picked us because we could handle this. Because we had something that we needed to use to reach a certain type of people out there. And we're doing that. And that's incredible. So let's get into some prayer against the spiritual warfare. I have some scriptures. I don't know if we'll go through all 31, but we'll see what happens. But we definitely want to start the day with some good prayer. Father, we come before you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. First and foremost, we give thanks to you for giving us powers and tools and weapons to fight these spiritual attacks. You give us the words to hit them in the heart. They don't like it. Good. We're shutting their mouths because they want to speak against us. They want to cast negative light on the truth. On you. Good. Because now we, we can identify who we need to avoid. We love our brothers and sisters, but you know if they're getting caught up in this, all we can do is give them your word to help lead them out of that. They've got to choose it. But Father, you've given us strength. You've built us up. You've emboldened us against these things. We get tired, and then you strengthen us when we need it. And it's just it's an incredible thing to see. We give you the praise, honor, and the glory for choosing us for this ministry, for picking the people that you've picked to do this. And the people that are watching have been stirred up and you sent them out to minister in comment sections, to edify, to build up, to um, encourage. Uh, some do it through email, some do it through <coughs> um, um, gospel tracks. I mean, everybody's got something and everybody does something. Some do it through singing. But I, I see testimony after testimony in comment sections of people. Ever since I've been watching you guys, I've been inspired to do something. Yes, yes, that's exactly what was, was supposed to happen. And it's awesome because the maximum amount of people are being reached because of what you did. Thank you, Father, for this. Thank you for this blessing that you've bestowed upon us. Because every ministry serves you. Father, we're going to pray some scriptures today against these spiritual attacks. The first thing is Ephesians 6, starting in verse 10, putting on the armor. We need that armor on every day because these attacks are going to get worse and worse until we leave. And, and honestly, and Father, we're not on your we're on your clock. We can't presume to know what you have planned, but we see it coming quite close. Quite, quite close. And they, the enemy does too. That's part of the reason why they're attacking us so much. They're trying to get as many digs in as they can before we're taken out of here. That's okay. Let them come. You've built us up and you've strengthened us. And thank you for that. Father, I'd like to pray these scriptures. These are scriptures encouraging us and, and equipping us with what we need to fight against these spiritual powers and fight we will submit yourself to god resist the devil and he will flee from you james 4 7 you are from god little children and have overcome them because greater is he who is in the in you than he who is in the world first john 4 4 for though we live in the world we do not wage war as the world does the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish strongholds we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 5. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, 
standing firm in the faith. 1 Peter 5, 8, 9. No weapon that is formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. Isaiah 54, 17. And Ephesians 6. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with the feet, your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Ephesians 6, 11-17 In all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans eight thirty seven. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians fifteen, fifty seven. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 4, 6 but the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Luke 10.19 Father, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to link this into the description so everybody can read the rest of these and get edified and built up and empowered. Father... We pray these scriptures because you told us to pray scripture. We pray these scriptures because by adding your word to our prayers, it creates a different scenario. And it it links us closer together. And I forget where it's at in the Bible. It talks about reminding you of your promises and reminding you of your scripture and the things you said. How much more power is added to that prayer? by us doing that. And I've seen the evidence of that. You're doing that in these morning and evening prayer videos. Changes. Lives are changed by these prayers. Father, I pray everyone watching and everyone not watching, everyone that you've chosen to have a ministry all around the world will be empowered and emboldened this very hour. That the, the st your strength will rise up in them because of your spirit in them. And give them the courage and the confidence and the boldness to go preach the word clearly, directly, in truth, and that they won't listen to other people and, and let them dictate how they're going to do their ministry, that they'll listen to you and do it according to how you tell them to do it. You are perfect, and you are love, and you are our Father, and we so look forward to being in your presence in heaven. We so, so, so look forward to worshiping you in heaven. What a day that will be. What, a, what an amazing revelation when the sons of God are manifested. Not for pride on us because we matter, but because your prophecies will be fulfilled, your promises get fulfilled, and you're glorified even more. It is in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you, and we thank you, and we glorify you, and we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for morning prayer. I will link this in the description so you can go and look these up. What an amazing God we have to do what he's done. Called us to do this, but then gives us everything we need to fight in this war. <coughs> when we read the word, we find those weapons. When we stay focused on Him and the Word, everything changes. And we become very strong and powerful warriors because of His might in us. Because of His glory in us. Because of His light in us. And His Spirit in us. If you have a ministry, use the confidence and the boldness and the power that is contained in this Word. And add it to your prayers. And go out there. 
and destroy the enemy. Not with knives and guns and physical weapons, but with the spiritual weapons he's given us. I love you all very much. I bless you all richly in Jesus' name. I pray he does too. And I'll see you guys in the next video.